a Solar PVTV from Kenya, from Nairobi, from Rest for Africa launch event. And we are together with uh, two founding members of uh, Rest for Africa, Francesco Venturini, who is president of the initiative of association, but also CEO of NL Green Power, the future largest green utility. And we are together also with Michele Scandellari, who is CEO of NRA, the company which is now EPC for the biggest uh, project in Latin America. Both they are coming from Italy, but here they are representing the international industry in order to promote renewable energies, not only in Kenya, but also in other neighboring countries. So first I would like to ask you, Francesco, because you are president of our organization and I loved your speech, you know. Okay. And the best in your speech was that uh, you are coming here to create the wealth. Yes. And could you comment on that actually? I mean, it's it's well proven that uh, without uh, without power, uh, there is no wealth. Uh, in this world, uh, power is extremely important. I mean, in a country like Kenya, where 90% uh, of the population uh, has access to uh, uh, mobile phones, uh, uh, but at the same time, I mean, only 60% of the population barely has access uh, to power. You, you just need to understand, I mean, there is a mismatch. I mean, at the end, you need to recharge the phone somehow. Um, so we, we believe in the fact that, uh, especially when you're talking about big projects, uh, uh, it's extremely important to understand that big utility scale projects are going to stay for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we want the engagement uh, of the local people to make sure that they understand uh, what the power plant is and how we can uh, generate uh, in value for them in different mm -hmm. ways. And why NL is uh, so involved in this initiative? Well, I mean, Enel uh, is, as you said, uh, uh, one of the largest uh, um, renewable uh, companies in the world. I mean, we are a big IPP, so independent power producer. Uh, we have 36 gigawatt of installed capacity around the world. Um, for us, the African continent is extremely important. Uh, we have been investing uh, uh, in terms of capacity building in this continent now for a long while. Uh, we, uh, we feel like we need to be present uh, and make sure that uh, things uh, take the right path because the renewable revolution is going to come to this continent too. So uh, now I would like to switch to Michele. Thanks uh, that uh, you introduced the event actually to Solar PV TV. And uh, finally I saw that the, one of the men behind was uh, Roberto Vigotti, the guy uh, always, always, yes, with always. whom we are working since 14 Mighty years. Vigotti. Yes, yes, exactly. And it's so great uh, that, uh, that you brought uh, Solar PV TV here. But I would like to ask you, because uh, you are an Italian company, you are building now as EPC, uh, the largest project in um, South America. You have great international experience. And how would you see you know, the development of solar taking into account your experience from other countries? What still has to be done? Um, <clears throat> one of the meaning of our um, event is, uh, is also in the subtitle, I mean, lesson to learn. Mm -hmm. um, as European, we have been the uh, reference market for renewables for more than 15 years. And in these 15 years, we made also a lot of mistakes. It seems sometimes bizarre, but even uh, uh, some countries didn't learn from the neighboring country. And so we are trying uh, to tell to uh, this continent, which it will be in our view, uh, one of the most prominent in the next uh, 20 years, that uh, if they would like to, to uh, have a feasible and durable market, they need to take some steps, mm -hmm. like reliable framework and so on. We do believe that a part of Kenya, this area, it will be uh, an important market. So Kenya is a reference country mm -hmm. in the area, so that's why mainly we are here. So this is like uh, we had in a discussion that it can be like a hub, yes, for the region? Absolutely, yes. And uh, one another question, because you are coming also from the financial uh, institutions, yes, uh, in your background. So also him, also him. Ah, also, ah, okay, so you, okay. both guys. So, okay, so I would like to uh, address this question to both of you. So actually, how do you, s how do you see, you know, the investors' uh, involvement here in the markets? Uh, do you think that uh, there is already a trust in the market or something else should be still done? Uh, you need to edge uh, the currency risk, you need to edge uh, the exchange rate risk, mm -hmm. you need to choose uh, better to pay probably in dollars or in euro instead of uh, local currency and so on. And uh, Francesco, your comment, because you are building actually like over two gigawatt of uh, capacities, yes? so you have experience also from other markets. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are uh, we are in more than uh, 20 countries right now with uh, our power plants. And we're developing projects in other 20 around the world. So I mean, I think we have uh, some some uh, quite good uh, international experience. I think that Kenya is uh, on the right path. I mean, they're doing the right thing. When when you talk to uh, 
um, both the uh, political uh, and uh, regulatory institutions, uh, they, they understand perfect, perfectly what they need to do. They have a vision. I think, I mean, what we keep repeating them is be careful before you have the perfect uh, um, framework, uh, because that's ne never going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, just make sure that you create uh, a confident uh, uh, environment uh, for people who are going to invest uh, in, in this country. So people need to understand that uh, they can trust uh, uh, the economy here in, uh, in, uh, uh, in Kenya, that uh, uh, people want foreign investments uh, coming uh, to Kenya, uh, that uh, they, they, they understand that, I mean, we are, we are coming here not to speculate, but obviously to stay for a long time. So I think there is the right vision. Uh, they're doing, they're taking the right steps. The most important thing is uh, these steps need to be taken uh, uh, fast because uh, there is a big opportunity for uh, a, a country like Kenya, as you were saying, mm -hmm. to be a hub for renewables uh, within Africa. Uh, but more than anything else, they can completely leapfrog, um, skipping one uh, that the most conventional technologies uh, and just uh, you know moving uh, immediately into uh, the most clean and efficient technologies that are available around the world. Because uh, as you are mentioning, the people are so excited. And uh, I noticed that you almost made another deal because you offered the electric bike to the Dean and after what you had already some customers. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, the way uh, this country is, uh, it's, it's full of entrepreneurs. I mean, they, they, uh, it's, it's famous in Kenya to be uh, uh, a very active uh, uh, country in the, in the business field. I think that um, what we were trying to um, uh, bring here was, was more a symbol than anything else. Mm -hmm. Um, the energy sector is opening up. Uh, it's, it's, it's not as close as it used to be. And needs to uh, learn to, to talk to mature sectors and more innovative sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, in my personal experience, uh, I, I, I don't recall uh, uh, a time where uh, um, people in the energy sector were, uh, um, f for them was mandatory to talk to uh, more mature sectors like uh, automotive, for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, but now we do. I mean, we, we, we have to talk to them because they're putting uh, batteries in the cars and we can use those batteries. Same thing with the bikes. I mean, we can, we can change uh, completely the traffic situation in Nairobi, which is unbelievably bad, just using electric bikes. And I th we thought it was, uh, you know, a, a good idea to bring uh, uh, new technology because the electric bike mm -hmm. is extremely innovative uh, and show what, uh, what can be done. And uh, I, I cannot believe that, I mean, two minutes uh, later, I was surrounded by people who wanted to sell the bikes, uh, rent the bike, uh, uh, and do more business, so it's fantastic. And uh, how do you feel about the uh, Kenyan people, African people, if you compare to people from other countries when making business? Yeah, this is quite difficult, uh, quite difficult questions. Uh, I mean, Kenya, for sure, is uh, among the region, one of uh, the more innovative uh, countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's uh, nearly, uh, it's pure democratic, pure, uh, a pure republic on, uh, let's say, on a European uh, standard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have been historically open to renewables because they, they do have geothermal, they do have uh, hydro. So we do believe that Kenya is, uh, can be a reference point for the area. Okay, so... I will ask uh, more questions, Roberto. Yes, because Roberto is one of the persons who was driving. The promoter. Yes, yes the promoter. Yes. The promoter. He's so, driving the bus. so I would like to finish uh, this interview with you. And uh, at the end, I would like to ask you for joining forces for, for solar and for renewable energies. <laughs> so it was Solar PVTV together with uh, uh, Francesco Venturini, mm -hmm. president of Res for Africa, and also with uh, Michele Scandellari, who is CEO of NRA, founders of Res for Africa, the initiative, which will drive development of solar and renewables in Africa. Thank you. Thank you.